Hey guys, what's up? This is Apple All Pro here, and today's video I'll be showing you how to downgrade from iOS 5.0.1 or 5.0. or 5.0 or um, 4.3.5 to 4.3.3. So you're gonna downgrade to 4.3.3. All right. So basically, all you do is first of all, first things first, go into a tiny umbrella. In this case, I was somewhere here. Let me just open it up. So, open up Tiny Umbrella. Okay, okay. Okay, alright. Damn it, hurry up. Okay, so make sure it does recognize your device alright so the first one is going to be there so here's my device right there now you want to click advance and make sure you have your and the only way to actually downgrade is to have your sh sh file saved now for me i have 4.3.5 files saved uh, 5.0.1 saved and 4.3.3 so if you don't have 4.3.3 here you cannot downgrade i'm sorry about that and also Verizon iPhones, you cannot uh, again to uh, downgrade. Like, all right. So you want to go to Advanced tab, right there. Advanced. You see, um, right there, this third, uh, third sentence. It says, "Set set hosts to Cydia on exit. If you need to clean restore from Apple, uncheck this box." So you want to uncheck the box, and all you do is cancel Tiny Bro. So you're done with Tiny Umbrel now. Now what you want to do is go to Computers, Computers File. Then you want to go to Local Disk C. Go to Windows. Go to, um, where did it go? Go to uh, System 32. Go to Drivers. Then go to ETC, etc. And there are your hosts file right there. Hosts, that's the first one is your hosts file. Now you want to double click and open that. Open it with Notepad, doesn't matter. Follow. All right, now what you want to do is you see that uh, number sign in front of the numbers, right? You want to backspace that, and that's all you do over here. And then you can cancel, and you want to save. And once you do that, you're good to go. Now you want to open up iTunes. All right, this is my putt touch right here. It's currently, you can see it is on 5.0.1. Alright, and it is a 32 GB iPod Touch. Now you want to put your i iPod uh, or iPod, iPhone, whatever, into DFU mode. Now, first of all, you want to turn off your device. So again, turn it off. Once you've turned it off, your iP uh, your mm, iTunes, sh um, well, obviously it won't be connected. And don't worry, you, need, you don't need to save a backup file because it doesn't really matter. All you'll do, all you're doing, is downgrading. So don't worry. All right, now you want to put your application to DFU mode. Now, to the process to that is hold the power button for three seconds and then hold the power and the home button for ten seconds and then let go of the power button and keep holding the home button for fifteen seconds. So let's go. Hold the power button for three. 2, 1, hold the home and the power button for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, let go of the power button, keep holding the home button, F uh, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, well, it doesn't matter anymore, 
So if your iPod touch uh, iPod, iPod touches screen is still uh, black, that means you're doing right. And also if your iTunes has detected you in recovery mode and your iPod touches still uh, screen still black, that means you're in DFU mode, and that's good. Now what you want to do is for uh, again you want to press Shift and then you want to click. Well, no, not yet. I mean, click OK and then you want to pl uh, press Shift and then click Restore press shift it's right here it says shift and then holding that you want to press restore and then now what it wants you to do is to look for the file that you want to downgrade to in this case again it's uh, 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 iOS 4.3.3 alright so my I have it saved in a folder 4.3.3 click open and it should say iTunes will erase so it should say iTunes will erase and store restore your iPod to iOS 4.3.3 and will verify the restore with Apple you wanna click restore now I'm gonna well, I'm not going to skip this part yet, but uh, just wait up. I just wanted to show you how long each step takes. So here's my pod, and it's still in DFU mode. If you don't put it into DFU mode, it won't be able to verify with Apple. Instead, it will give you an error, which will actually prevent you from downgrading. So, and also that... Uh, make sure you actually really you need to make sure this is like the most important step of the downgrade you should always untick Cydia uh, set host to Cydia because if you don't untick that then it will also prevent you from downgrading alright so it's extracting softwares right now well I'm downgrading because um uh, unfortunately, even uh, I have the lat latest version of uh, Red Snow. It's a beta three for nine point ten, nine point yeah. Well, I have the latest version to uh, untether the zero break your iPod Touch on four five iOS five point zero point one. But the thing is, when I actually uh, uh, try to jailbreak it, it doesn't uh, fetch my device. So basically, it doesn't identify my device. So I can't really untether the zero break my device. And as you can see, it's preparing to restore, and my iPod is also restoring. So it should go smoothly. The process is smooth. It should go smoothly. And um, now I'm gonna skip this part. Well, actually, no, I'm not gonna. There's no point. But if you want to, you can skip the video from here. So it's waiting for iPod right now. And now it's saying preparing iPod software for restore. And also after this video I will be making another video to uh, jailbreak your iPod Touch and firmware uh, uh, 4.3.3 and you don't really need any red snow or anything for that because all you have to do really is go into jailbreakme.com on your iDevice and then download Cydia from there. It's really simple and easy. You don't need, you don't need to do anything really. Alright, so not right now it's saying restoring iPod software. So it's as you can see my iPod is loading. Uh, I mean, I tried to untether the jailbreak on my um, my iPod. It's been over three hours actually. Uh, it's been like since two o'clock. I've been trying it, and now it's five actually. It's uh, four forty-one. Basically, it's five twenty minutes left. So it's been three hours literally. I've been trying to untether the jailbreak on uh, iOS five point zero point one, but it doesn't work for me because uh, 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 Red Snow doesn't identify my device. So it really pissed me off. So I was like, let's just restore. And then uh, I thought of making a video since I haven't made a video on restoring your iPod device. So it's loading, 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 loading. Here, let me turn on the light in my room here. So.
again if you want to skip this part again you can just skip the video but really you don't even need to watch this video anymore just uh, saying because it will do everything on your iPod Touch and if you have any questions please comment below and I will an gladly uh, answer them alright now my iPod Touch is uh, restoring and it's almost done actually it's saying verifying iPod restore so it's really done really actually it's almost done alright now it's saying your iPod has been restored to factory settings and is restarting please leave your iPod connected it will appear in iTunes and again it has been restored so basically that's how you do how you restore your iPod touch and yeah again it's not iOS 5.0.1 anymore it's 4.3.3 .3. now let's see how it actually goes alright guys my iPod touch has been booted and is on iOS 4.3.3 .3. And to show you, I'm just going to go into uh, general, about, and uh, there you go. It's on 4.3.3, .3 actually. I don't know if you can see or not, but anyways... Alright, instead of doing that, I'll show you in iTunes because you can't really see it. Well, actually, no, never mind. So, as you can see, it, it will say this computer previously synced with uh, an iPod or another iOS device. So, it's saying set up as a new iPod or do you want to restore as the old one? So, I'm going to do the old one. I'm going to restore as the old one. Oh, well, restore from the backup from the old one. I, I'm, I'm actually going to set it up as a new iPod, so, and I'm not going to show you the name or anything, zoom out, Apple All Pro, alright, automatic sync and everything, blah, 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 click done, and it should say sync in progress and uh, yeah it's saying packing up uh, preparing to sync determining determining apps and installing now it's going to install all the apps that you had and all that stuff whatever doesn't matter and as you can now I'm gonna, now I can show you that my iPod is on 4.3.3 it is on 4.3 so and I'm just gonna skip this part